You look good. Thank you so much, I feel ill. How many days do we think that I could just live off of creamy and not actually have any real food? To the vlog also holy shit I just realized these vlogs are going up out of order I have much darker hair now and that'll be in a different vlog and these are going up out of order whoopsies hello I feel severely ill because I just filmed an incredible video that I'm so excited for wedding dress price guessing didn't do so hot at um, so redeeming myself hopefully fingers crossed you'll find out in the next main channel video with wedding cakes when I tell you that I've never eaten so much cake in one sitting from five different places, five different bakeries, all made from many high quality and high sugar, high butter, high fat ingredients, I am, I need immediately to go rot on the couch. Um, oh my God, my hair is, I literally even seeing myself with this dark hair is so wild. Another win for Team Burnett, okay? I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spoil the whole video because it's so good, but let me show you um, one of the most incredible cakes that I've probably ever seen in my entire life. It is insane. Look at this cake. This cake is insane. It beats every single cake I've ever seen on Pinterest and it is stunning. So that's one of the cakes in the videos and there's a tiny, tiny little dent that we put into it. Also like for size comparison, here's my whole iPhone next to it. Like, this thing is massive. Absolutely massive. Oh, it's just a baby. It's just a baby. Oh my goodness. How are we feeling, post cake? Um, the best I've ever felt. Could run a marathon. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm, I'm about to do it in the Olympics. It's just a moose butt. Just a moose butt in the face. Sarah, how do you feel? I feel ill. I feel ill. You look good. Thank you so much, I feel ill. Why do you feel ill? How many pieces do you eat? Maggie and I feel like paced Ugh. ourselves a little better. You know why I feel better than y'all? Why? Because I didn't finish that chemical cake. <laughs> Give me the chemicals. I Give me the chemicals. We have coffee this morning, so, like so you after can, you my have your cake crash, I can be like, caffeine. I feel like the cake crash is not yet. I feel like it's about to hit. And you know? then what? That's why I'm sipping caffeine, my little coffee. Oh, wow. yes. Are you gonna fall asleep? Will there be a post cake nap? Yes. Wow. Absolutely. How can you nap this late in the day? What do you mean? It's just a 20. What do you mean? And the science of taking power naps is you drink a little coffee. And <gasps> I read naps, this. You sleep and then by the time you wake up after 20 minutes, you should. Good to go. Be good to go. Yes. This is why I do drugs. Okay. Yeah, and that will be the end of that <laughs> Hello! Oh my god, literally a jump scare every time I turn the camera on and I'm like, oh my god, my hair is so dark. It's crazy. Anyways, I am headed over to meet Mia at Costco. I feel like Costco kind of falls into the same category for me as Target where I don't necessarily know what I need until I get there, uh, which is in one part fun and in another part a little bit dangerous because like, who knows? Am I gonna get 18 eggs or am I gonna get 18 Squishmallows? We're gonna find out. In Canada, you can't buy alcohol at Costco um, because you know, like LCBO, etc. If you're in Ontario, it's much more regulated, but alcohol at Costco in America is so insanely cheap. So I always stock up on just like our favorite um, wines and Jeremy's favorite whiskey, etc. So that's kind of the only thing on my shopping list today. I'm actually taking this month off from uh, drinking. I've got one birthday that I haven't decided if I want to use that day to break my sobriety. It sounds um, like really dramatic, but I just kind of want to see what not drinking does to my overall health in terms of like bloatedness and my sleeping and my like face puffiness. If any of my face puffiness is just from sometimes eating mass amounts of Ninja Creamy ice cream or if it's also tied to alcohol. I don't drink that much, but I would say I'm a pretty casual social drinker. And then depending on what our schedule looks like, sometimes that could be four nights a week where I 
really, 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 really ever get like drunk, but I would say there's definitely multiple nights a week where I drink like a few drinks a night, like a few glasses of wine or a few glasses of champagne or whatever it might be. So I'm gonna take the month off and just see what happens, see how it goes. I've got family in town visiting uh, next month and um, since that always, that's like not celebration, but it definitely feels more vacation vibe. So it'll just be for May. We're gonna see how it goes, see how I feel afterwards. Um, because I know that I feel like I sleep better after a glass of wine, but we'll see if that's actually the case. I also have, I feel like I don't have enough time at this stop like right now, but I also have a giant piece of the cake to bring to Mia. Um, I've got some Alani New coffee, uh, like the coffee protein drinks that I don't drink for her. And then also, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do, wait, no, is it green? Oh God, I'm, I'll do it on the next stop. But I've got a huge piece of cake for her. Um, I don't know what the proper, like, I understand now, I guess, why bakers have to have whole entire separate fridges to put their cakes and keep them chilled. Because, like, it can't sit on the counter and it's huge. And so in the process, I'm so glad that I didn't vlog this because it, it was a true devastation of cake. Is that a word? Devastation? It was a, it was basically a murder. It was a slaughter. It was gory. Basically the top 75% of the cake slid off the bottom 25% and then the mess that was left over that was the bottom 25% that I obviously can't just like add back onto the bottom of the cake. It was a bulking disaster. <laughs> and so I did my best to try and salvage as much as I could. So I've got a giant piece for Mia and a giant piece for Jeremy and I. Remy and Cal are coming over for a date night tonight and I'm gonna make everyone eat mass amounts of cake because it is so delicious, but there is so much of it. Um, so that's also in my car. And if you're ever wondering what dog mode gets used for, it does get used for dogs, but it also gets used to keep your cake chilled when it's a little sunny. <laughs> I brought you a fork. Wow, this is, this is a whole ass cake on its own. I know, I know. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting this. I hope it's still good because it's been chilled. We make sure you get the middle part. Okay. That's the best part. Okay, so what kind is this? It's expensive. <laughs> How much is it again? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to give it away because it's part of the video, but it's a lot. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It tastes like not an American cake. I'm not cultured enough to like know what other kinds of like not Walmart cake taste like. <laughs> Walmart cake slaps. Walmart cake slaps. Honestly, it might be like my favorite, but this is like, you can tell it's gourmet. Oh, when God. I also was eating that last <laughs> night, after it wasn't in the confines of having to eat like five other cakes, I was like, oh. Oh my God. Mm. This feels like, it's like so good. I'm like, I don't feel guilty eating it. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, like, oh, this is a delicacy. Like it doesn't taste like, healthy or anything but it tastes like real it doesn't taste like trash it doesn't taste like chemicals yeah, like yeah. when i was in the walmart cake i was like oh this is for sure like taking years off my life <laughs> even just the icing so i know it's so good wow. wait eat, eat, a, eat a pearl eat a pearl oh, i got one you got one careful break my teeth. careful i know mm. sugar ball Delicious. sugar ball let us costco <laughs> my new personality is making new ninja creamy recipes every single fucking vlog. I will say I'm getting better and that means that there are two individuals in the house who have been eating them. So I've been getting to make lots of new flavors. It's an opportunity. It's a gift, essentially. I've got three today. Two are the same flavor, but two different recipes. And so we're gonna do a little head to head to see which one's better. Blind taste test? Blind, well, I guess if you close your eyes, it could be blind. One's like very green. Part. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I wanted to do um, a mint flavor. And so this one is with, oh, I filmed it happening. So it's the vanilla Fairlife protein milk, um, some vanilla extract, uh, two, supposed to be two drops of peppermint extract, but it didn't have one of those like squeezy eyedropper things on top. So it kind of just went like 
bleh. Um, bleh. And then some vanilla pudding mix and uh, green food coloring. Obviously, also the bottom is doing something fucking weird down here. I don't know what's going on. This one is mint, but with vanilla protein milk and the sugar-free vanilla pudding mix. And then there's one that's the exact same except for chocolate Fairlife protein milk and chocolate pudding mix. And I'm excited regardless for both of them. They smell fire. Okay, let's do this. Oh, and then I also have some uh, no sugar added, less sugar, sweet life, dark chocolate, baking chips. Excited. Okay, here we go. Um, someone was saying that if it's a little bit uh, like got the frosties on top, you, you don't actually have to add more liquid. It just needs to be respun. Oh my God. I don't know, I wanna, okay, like, do we have self-control? Absolutely not, here we go. Are you shitting me right now? Okay. It's so good. Oh, it's good. Oh, What in the motherfuck? I don't even understand. I haven't even added chocolate chips yet and it's so good. Oh my God. What the fuck? Okay, pretty little potty mouth. Try how good this is. Are you gonna mm. That's pretty flame. That's so good. Give me a bite. Oh, fuck me. One more. That's so good. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I haven't even added the chippies to it yet. I, I didn't. Smooth. A texture. Wow. I just don't understand. Okay, let's add some chippies in here. Oh, is that a lot? <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know how the other ones could be better. Truly. Okay, I'm gonna add in my mixes. Bro, are you kidding? Are you? Are you actually shitting me right now? I literally don't understand. Okay, well, I can't see how we can go up from here because this is, this tastes the cake. This is the, and maybe I'm biased because I love mint chip, but this is the best one I've done. This is the best one I've done so far. Like this is worthy of, I don't understand. All right, let's do the chocolate one. Chocolate mint, exact same recipe, except for we've got chocolate protein milk and then the chocolate sugar-free uh, pudding mix. I just can't see how it's gonna get better than what it just was. Here we go. Oh, I didn't let this one sit long enough. Mmm, this smells more of like the chocolate mint like candies. Ooh, texture is still quite wonderful. She a little bit wet though. Mmm. Damn. This is gonna be so specific for my Canadians. The little chocolate mints that you get after dinner when you eat at the restaurant, the keg, that's exactly what this tastes like. When I was mixing this up in the little pine container, I dumped in a little more mint extract than I think I had originally intended. What the fuck on it? <laughs> and I thought that it was gonna ruin it. It didn't, but this is definitely like very chocolate minty. But wow. Still good. So good. Don't understand. Last one. I'm so excited for this one. So this one is vanilla protein milk, sugar-free vanilla pudding mix. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is where this one goes rogue. This is literally just the vanilla protein milk and then the Oreo cookies and cream pudding mix in here. And then I just took a little kitchen mallet to one of these to dump in um, afterwards. I don't have any regular Oreos. They feel like that'd probably be better, but these also work, so. Let's do it. I just feel like how could this one go wrong, you know? Okay, without without a mix-in. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> this is 
fire. This is just straight up cookies and cream. This only has two ingredients. Okay. Also, I have been so wildly impatient with these because I've been so excited about new flavors. So uh, you're supposed to wait 24 hours. I gave this one literally six hours. And so that's why mine is a little softer than it's supposed to be. But no regrets, no rag rats. This is gonna taste like a McFlurry, honestly. That's kind of what this tastes the most similar to. Whoever invented creamy needs an immediate raise. Immediate. Like how many days do we think that I could just live off of creamy and not actually have any real food? Oh my God. Babe. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, I also did a bad job of um, mouthing the Oreo, so I just got like a full little mini Oreo. Just wait. What's this? Cookies and cream. Oh, my favorite. I mean, what's not to love? McFlurry, right? Wow. It's giving McFlurry vibes. Yeah, except that the ice cream machine's working. Um. More, please. What kind of puff puff pass shit is this? <laughs> stuff stuff pass. So, not my um, not my uh, no no no. This could be one of my favorite hobbies of yours. Mine too. Wow. What the fuck? Last creamy vlogs were good. These ones are better. Oh my God. Fuck, maybe this one is number one now. Number one and two have for sure, I gotta start making a list of all my recipes. Number one and number two have for sure been taken over by cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip with the vanilla milk. Oh my God. The Ninja Creamy has already outlasted the juicer and the Yo Nana's by Exponential, exponential uses. Hi guys, it is the next day and I'm about to start getting ready for the Little Mermaid movie premiere red carpet. I haven't had a red carpet in a while where it's been so chaotic trying to find something to wear. I ordered a handful of dresses from Revolve and the dress that I was really hoping to wear uh, was just delivered wrong. I've never had this happen. Like Revolve is the best, not sponsored, because like things ship in two days and it's the best, it comes so fast. So for like last minute events like this one, it was it just like my, my go-to. And for the first time ever, Revolve gave me the entirely wrong dress and it was an okay dress, but it was just not the dress that I ordered. So anyways, last minute yesterday, I went to a store that my stylist arranged. I was able to go pick something up to wear today. I just feel like Little Mermaid would have been the perfect premiere to like wear something like long and flowy and either like blue, green or purple, which is what I really wanted to do. Like some of the other dresses that you saw photos of um, that I ordered and tried on and did not love were trying to be like in theme. So anyways, here's where I ended up and here's where I landed. Um, it's definitely not in theme, but it is very cute. So it's from Nana Jacqueline or Nana Jacqueline. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's this cute little white romper. Um, it's very flattering. It's kind of giving bridal. Like I feel like this whole year has just been like very bridal core. And then the only kind of like in theme nod that I'm able to pull off on short notice um, are these little purple stilettos with the bows um, that are definitely kind of like Little Mermaid-esque colors. So I'm gonna wear these, which are actually shockingly comfortable with the little white rompy. It's really flattering on um, legs because they look so long because basically like your, your coochie's like right there. But anyway, anyways, it's a romper, it's very cute. Eros is coming over to do my makeup and I've got my friend Julia coming over to do my hair and I will see you in the process of getting ready.
makeup are done. We did like a really pretty subtle purple shimmer in the name of mermaid theme. I was gonna say aerial theme, but oh no, I guess her, her shell top is purple. Why do I have purple as such a strong association with her? Cause she's got red hair too. Anyways, in the name of Little Mermaid, I've got like a faint purple shimmer on the lid to go with the shoes. The hair is curled, like a loose, like blowy outy curl. And then these earrings that are also from uh, the same brand as the little romper. That's what they look like. They've got some cute purple and green stones in them as well. Um, it's one hole down here and then a clamp up here and I am wildly aware of what the clamp feels like, but they are really pretty. So I think I'm gonna do for the photos, like hair back on one side like this, maybe, and then something like this. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is, I, my bangs right now are styled like so perfectly. This is like the best I feel like my bangs have looked in so long. I think I need to stop fighting having more of a side bang than I think I do because this is really naturally where my hair parts, I feel like. Okay, I'm gonna get changed and then we're gonna head out. and I have my heated blanket on. I don't know why I waited so long in life to not own a heated blanket. I didn't even know that I was missing something in my life and this is what was missing, was this heated blanket. Moose is also a huge fan and not, he also is like a snuggler, but when the heated blanket is on, he is a snuggler. Um, my makeup still looks absolutely incredible and this is the Eros effect. Um, oh my God, the movie was so cute. It was so cute because things have been so busy. I didn't, like I've, I've seen the trailers, but I didn't realize that Aquafina was Scuttle. I didn't realize that Melissa McCarthy, maybe I did know this, was Ursula, but the casting was so amazing. And then obviously Ariel was just so good. Loved it, so cute. CGI is fucking crazy and will never cease to amaze me. And that's the review. I also went to this event by myself and Jeremy as my support person waited in the car for a solid 30 minutes as I was there to make sure that I was okay. I haven't been to an event by myself in so long and I survived. Here I am being brave, almost turning 30, being brave. I feel like I also ran out of time to show you like full outfit uh, in video vloggy version. So I will pop a bunch of photos on screen. There's always a, no, there's not always. There is a 100% chance that I will black out on red carpets and forget every single pose that I've ever learned that's flattering on my body. And because you only have a few tries when there's a red carpet photographer happening, it's just like, it's very, very stressful. Um, but I'm so relieved because my Getty photos are quite solid. Realistically, I was like, like Julia crushed my hair. It looks incredible. Eros does what Eros does and like I've never looked better in my entire life essentially. So obviously I was I was being teed up to have success on the red carpet today and um, I'm happy with the photos. Also like official hard launch of brunette hair on Instagram since I'll probably post um, some stories from- No, I launched it the other day on mine. I feel like it doesn't quite count because I was in pajamas. Did you get a lot of replies? I sure did. Hmm. Accidental soft launch on Jeremy's Instagram the other day. Don't put me in the soft launch category. Soft launch. Hard launch me. Hard, you, you, launch me. you, you, launch, <laughs> launch me. Um, I'm gonna have creamy for dinner. I'm gonna have mint chocolate chip creamy for dinner. And uh, that's where we're all in the vlog. Okay, bye guys. Da, 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 da.